Sister Penny was sitting cross-legged on her bed, frowning into a cup of soakings. Uh, Ivy was there too, standing at attention with two buckets stacked one into the other. Something was off. Lila, wuti chi? Lila, do you understand chi? I gave Sister Penny my dumb look, but as she met my eyes while spoon scraping the last sweet mush of soakings from her cup, I knew she knew. Lila, I don't like lies or liars, she told me in chi. I looked over at Ivy. She was the only one aside from Brimpoma who knew. She avoided my eyes. I thought you needed my help, Sister Penny looked hurt. I do. Hadn't Sister Penny seen the bruise at the back of my neck from the soap Sister Josie had hurled at me? Wasn't she the one who had made the big production of telling Brimpomat and me to look out for each other? Go and help Ivy wash our things. And wash this too, she said, finally, handing me her dirty cup. You told Sister Penny, I accused Ivy when we were out of the six former's room. I'm sorry, yeah, it just slipped out. She clasped my hands between hers and widened her eyes. Please don't be mad with me. I said nothing, but I let her hold my hands.